This is a 97 F350 diesel. Uh, we're going to talk about the column here. The uh, bearing down inside here um, wears out, comes apart. This is what the bearings look like. Here's the pieces of it. This is not going to be a how to do the bearings, but if you do want to do the lower bearing, you do have to remove the column from the vehicle and take the two seconds apart. But what I wanted to talk about was getting this spring and this C clamp back on. So there's two notches here, one here and one down here. And this is a pretty burly spring that's on here. So what I ended up doing was using the oxygen sensor socket putting it on there and just fucking whacking the shit out of it until it went on there. But this, uh, this comes as a kit. You can actually get it from Ford. It comes with the spring and the bearing and the little uh, self-adjuster collar. This is the lower bearing, the bigger one, and this is what's left of the upper bearing. The spring basically just wears out and grinds itself together. Then the little ball bearings fall down into the column and get into the lower bearing and uh, basically destroy it. <clears throat> but I didn't have the uh, camera available yesterday when I was doing this repair, so there will not be any videos on how to actually do this. But uh, pro tip use a, a GM door spring compressor to put the spring for the uh, tilt column back in.